This is a quick video to show you how to subtract mixed numbers with regrouping using models or pictures. So I'm going to start with uh, my example 3 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 2 fourths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 3 and 1 fourth and I'm going to draw a picture of it. I'm going to draw it using a simple rectangles. So I'm going to represent my 3, whole number 3 with 3 rectangles. Then I'm going to represent my 1 fourth with a little rectangle. So now I can subtract. Now I have a picture I can subtract from. And I'm going to start with the whole numbers and I'm going to take away two of those boxes because I'm taking a two away from the three whole numbers. Then I'm left with one fourth minus two fourths, which I can't do. So I need to regroup that last whole number. To do that, I'm going to split it into fourths because I need more fourths. So now I have five fourths altogether. So I can take my two fourths out. There's one fourth. There's another fourth, and I'm left with three fourths. I don't have any whole numbers left, but I have three fourths left over. So three and one fourth minus two and two fourths is three fourths. And I have another example. Two and two fifths minus one and three fifths. So here again, I'm going to draw the two and two fifths by using big rectangles for the whole number and then a smaller rectangle to represent my two fifths. And like I did the first time, I'm going to take away the one hole. So I have, I have two holes down there and I'm going to take away one. And that's going to leave me with two fifths minus three fifths, which I can't do. I need to regroup that last whole number. I'm going to split it into fifths because I need more fifths. I can't do two fifths minus three fifths. I need more fifths. Now I can subtract my three fifths. And I take out the two fifths and I take out one more fifth. That's three fifths. That means I have four fifths left over. I don't have any whole numbers left over, just the four fifths. So two and two fifths minus one and three fifths is four fifths. And I have one more example for you. Five and one third minus two and two thirds. Again, I'm going to draw my picture. I'm going to draw my model. Use rectangles to represent the whole number five. And I use a smaller rectangle to represent one third. Now I'm going to take away that two. So I'm going to cross out two of the whole number boxes. And again, one third minus two thirds I can't do. So I'm going to regroup one of my whole numbers into thirds because I need more thirds. So I can take away one third and another third. That's two thirds, the two thirds I needed to subtract. And I'm left with two thirds. But this time I'm also left with whole numbers. I still have two whole numbers. So I have two and two thirds left. So five and one third minus two and two thirds is two and two thirds. So just remember to regroup that last whole number into whatever fraction you need in order to do your subtraction. <music>